Hey guys, my name is Mithun and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this YouTube tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add arrows and multiple other options in Snagit. And on top of that, I'm also going to show you how to blur subjects in Snagit. So without any further ado, let's get started. It's been a long time since I've uh, used Snagit because I've been using Pepo Cloud which is a web application and it is a very affordable option in the segment as it does not cost that much money as compared to Snagit but has all the options and features that you need. So if you don't want to install any software on your computer you should definitely give Pepper Cloud a try. Moving on to the tutorial as you can see on my screen I have Amazon.com opened up which is a great website for this particular demonstration and I've used Amazon for affiliate marketing and I cannot tell you how many times I've used the blur feature and the arrow features on uh, Snagit to actually highlight and hide information that I want to. So in order to do that first you'll have to launch your Snagit editors uh, capture wizard. You can easily do that by clicking on the capture uh, wizard icon which is actually in the red uh, Snagit icon. Just click on it and uh, it will actually launch this particular panel. In order to grab the screen, you have to go to the image section and then uh, from the selections option, select the region section option. If you don't select the region or uh, if you select anything else, it will com uh, there is a chance that it will completely capture the entire screen, which is not what we want. Now, after everything is done and dusted, all you have to do is click on this capture option. As soon as you click on the capture option, it will show you a crosshair. It will show you a crosshair that you can use to uh, grab the portion of the screen that you want. I'm going to take a screenshot of this particular area. Boom. As soon as you release the crosshair, it will automatically load that particular screen capture into your Snagit editor. Now from this editor, you can actually edit uh, the entire screenshot and manipulate information on the screen. First, I'm going to show you how you can add arrows and how you can customize arrows in Snagit. So in order to add the arrows, just uh, click on the arrow option at the top of the Snagit editor. And uh, now you can uh, click on any part of the screen and uh, drag the cursor to point the arrow in the right direction. On top of that, you can also remove the shadow options and uh, change the color of the arrow easily by just a few clicks. and uh, uh, it's pretty much done. Now you have a great looking arrow on the screen. Now what if you want to change the thickness of the arrow? You can do that easily by selecting the arrow by clicking on it and then playing around with the opacity and the width of the arrow. I'm going to reduce the width a bit and I'm going to increase the arrow size and I'm going to also uh, play around with uh, what do you call the uh, end of the arrow. So it looks like a dot and the front of the arrow looks like a big arrow. So that is exactly what I wanted to do. Now there are many other arrows that you can use. Also you, uh, there are other arrows that uh, uh, you can play around with. So if you want to give it a test drive, uh, make sure to check all the arrows and see which one suits the purpose. Now the next uh, option that I wanted to showcase is the blur option. In order to select the blur option, go to the more menu and uh, click on it and you will see a drop down menu in which uh, the second option should be the blur option and as soon as you click on the blur option uh, you will have around eight options to play around with and in the tools property you can see that uh, there are two options to select from one is the blur and the second one is the pixelate option i usually use the blur option because it is simpler than pixelate and i'm going to show you why by selecting the blur option go to the screen and uh, highlight any area that you want to uh, block the visibility from. So I have actually enabled the blur on that particular uh, object. Now if I want to change it, I can actually change it from blur to pixelate. Now you can see that it looks a bit weird on screen, uh, which I don't actually want. And uh, so I'm going to just uh, move back to the previous one. Now I can also increase the intensity and completely uh, remove the information from the background so it doesn't actually look like anything by in playing around with the intensity. So that's how you can actually play, play around with the blur feature and the arrow feature in uh, Camtasia. But if you have 
if you have some time and if you want to play around with some more things you can actually use the highlight feature to highlight a particular section on the screen and uh, change the color to match the need as you can see the section is highlighted and move the arrow to highlight that particular section you can add text you can add uh, various other things to uh, the particular uh, selection and you can also use freehand uh, uh, writing to do uh, fancy looking things on screen if you have a digital tablet i actually uh, don't have many things that i uh, saved on to the snagit editor because i barely use it to edit a few images here and there because i've been using pepper cloud as i mentioned earlier so there is no need for me to use this particular software once uh, you're done with actually uh, editing the image and adding the arrow and blur feature you can pretty much save it by clicking on this share button and uh, it will actually show you how you can actually save this particular version so that was my tutorial on how you can actually use the blur feature and the arrow feature on snagit let me know in the comment section below if you have any doubts regarding the same i will see you in my next tutorial till then take care and bye bye